And if your eyes have just gently closed, allow the head to come forward. Upper and lower lids part. Let that light, that energy, those colours back in. And then take the head on top of the spine, realign. If you need to, make sure you've got space left and right for your arms to go really long. And then from here, as we inhale, we're going to take the arms out, palms face forward. Yep. And then just tilt the fingers so they're behind you. So you should get a fairly nice stretch going through the forearms and maybe the chest. As you exhale, bring the hands in front, but turn the palms so the back of the hands touch or as close as they'll get. Nice. Inhale, palms face out, fingers tilt back. Exhaling. If you want, you can round and drop the head. Inhaling. If you want, you can arch the back, look up. Exhaling, back of the hands together. Head rolls in, inhaling, opening up. Exhale, curling down. Inhale, open, last one. Ah. Exhale to curl. Inhale as you open. And this time as you exhale, pop the hands in front of you, move on to your hands and knees. Nice and easy. If you want to carry on going with that little drishti point in cat cow, feel free. So as you inhale, take your gaze forward and as you exhale, head and eyes in between the knees. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling, last one. Inhaling, cow. Exhaling, cow. Inhale, find yourself in a neutral tabletop. First one of our little fire hydrant. Stabilize everything, so use the fingers, draw the core. Left leg is gonna come and stay exactly where it is, and we're gonna open up through the hip. As we inhale, lift, and as we exhale, lower. Nice. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Last one, inhaling, exhale. As you inhale, lift, keep it fairly high, reassert that L shape, and then tiny little pulses at the top. Yep. See if you can keep even with the weight. And then as you inhale, hold it at the top, tuck the back toes if you haven't already. Push away through the floor. Keep the leg where it is, down dog. Inhale as you drop back down. Exhale as the knee comes back down. Lovely. Same again, same side. Inhale as we come up. Exhale to lower. Inhale as we lift. Exhaling. Inhale, keep the knee and the ankle the same degree. Last one, inhale. Stay here, little pulses right at the top. Inhale, stay here, tuck the back toes. Exhale, keep the leg where it is, push back. Inhaling, knee drops back. Other knee comes to the floor. Exhale, shift back, brief child's. Inhale as you lift, other side. Re-establish through the tabletop, find the core. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale to lower. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling. Exhale, keep that shape, keep that L. Inhale, stay here, tiny little pulses at the top. Tiny little pulses. Keep the shape, keep the breath nice and fluid. Take a breath in, and as you tuck the toes, exhale, keep the leg where it is, just shift back, down dog. Inhale, drop onto the knees. Exhale, other knee comes down. Re-establish your hands, your core. 
Inhale as you lift. Exhale as it drifts down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale as it drifts down, lovely. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, keep the spine in alignment. Inhale, lift, stay there. Yep, so try and keep the pelvis level. Tuck the toes. Exhaling, down dog, yeah. Leg stays where it is, take a look. Make sure it's where you want it to be. Inhale as you pop all the way down. Exhale, draw the knee back. Inhale, start to slide back and then take your knees wide, toes together. So you're in an extended child. As you exhale, take your hands to the right hand side just for that breath. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the left, just briefly. Inhaling, back to center. Exhale, push up, down dog. Inhaling, three-legged dog. Exhale. I should have said which foot, so forgive me, but whichever foot is in the air, float it down to pigeon. Yeah. Keep that back leg tucked. As we inhale, we're gonna lift the back knee off very gently, come into a back bend pigeon. Draw the hands down, exhaling, down dog. Go easy, inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhaling, left knee through, pigeon. Inhale, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, back bend in your pigeon. Exhaling, down dog, other side. Inhale, right leg up. Exhaling, pigeon. Inhale, lift the knee, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhaling, pigeon. Inhale, lift the knee, find that arch. Exhale, last one, both sides. Inhaling, right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhaling, pigeon. Inhale, lift the knee, take the hands off, back bend. Exhaling, down dog. Really lovely. Inhale, last one, left leg. Exhaling, pigeon, pull the weight forward nice and easy, plenty of time. Inhale, lift the back knee, slide into a back bend. Exhale, down dog. Lovely. Inhaling, plenty of time. Look between your hands. Exhale, step forward with a leg that doesn't normally step forward. Forward fold. Staying here just for an extra breath. Inhaling. Staying here as we exhale. Inhale, slide up. Flap. Exhale, weight is back. Hands can draw down. Your choice, Utkatasana chair pose. Inhale, spring up through the hands, standing salute. Exhale, thumbs into the heart center. Inhale, lift and look up, back bend. Exhaling, fold, fold, weight through the front. Yeah, knees can be soft. Inhaling, flat back, arms by the ears. Exhale, lean back. Chair pose. Push through the heels, lift through the hands, standing salute. Exhale, thumbs into the heart center. Inhale as you lift, back bend. Exhaling, let it all go, forward fold. Weight comes forward. Last round here, inhale. Flat, powerful back. Exhale as you rock back, bend the knees, sit low, chair. Inhale, sweep up, look up. Exhaling, thumbs into the heart. Inhale, gaze forward. 
Exhale, all the way down, forward fold. Inhale as you pause in your forward fold. Exhaling, right leg back, right knee down, opening through that back hip. Untuck the back toes. Inhale as you lift the arms. Exhale as you push through the back ankle, the back knee. Inhale, shift the hands down. Exhaling, down dog. Inhale, right leg comes through, left leg comes back, low lunge. Release the back toes. Inhale as the arms come up. Exhale, press down through the ankles. Inhaling, hands come down, back toe tucks. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, we lengthen through the body. Exhale, strengthen the back of the body chair. Inhale, standing salute, gaze up. Exhale, thumbs into the heart center. Inhaling, back bend. Exhaling, forward fold. Your choice of eye position here, by the knees, by the foot, Either way, inhaling, exhaling, left leg back, left knee down, untucked toe. Inhale as we sweep the arms up, exhale as we press the knee, the ankle into the floor. Inhale as we draw the hands down, exhaling, down dog. Inhaling, left leg through, right knee down. Inhale as we take the arms up. Exhale, push down through the right leg. Inhale, hands come down, back toes tucked. Exhaling, forward fold one, swift movement. Inhale, reach a little bit further, fly off. Exhale, go a little bit deeper, a little bit lower, a little bit crazier, Utkatasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up, look up. Exhale, thumbs into the heart. Inhaling, look up. Exhaling, forward fold. Nice. Inhaling as we pause, same again with our lunges. Exhale, right leg back, right knee down, untucked. Inhale, use the fingers, spread. Exhale, push the knee, the ankle. Inhale, hands come down. Exhaling, down dog, stay down dog. Inhaling, right leg comes up. Exhale, bend the right knee, open through that top hip. Inhale, re-establish. Straight leg. Exhaling, down dog. A little bit tricky here, inhaling, come forward, knee up, plank. As we exhale, we're going to take a fire hydrant. I'm going to show you with my left, but if you can do it on your right leg, that will be a little bit handier. Um, you might hear a little bit of commotion, just so you're aware. Men and Thor are just going to have a little bit of a Sunday morning fight. So from here, we're in plank, lifting up through the core. Take one leg up, bend the knee. Take it out to the side. Just like we did in tabletop, but a lot more hideous. Last one. Pop the leg down. Exhaling, down dog. Your choice, we're warm enough now. Take a jump if you want. Take a step. Either way, forward fold. Inhale, we fly off, flat back. Exhale, if you wish, gaze to those top of the fingers, chair pose. Inhale, press through the heels, lift with the gaze, standing salute. Exhale, thumbs into the heart center. Inhale, look up, back bend. Exhaling, forward fold. Lovely. Inhaling, forward fold. Exhale, step the left leg back, left knee down, just like before, untucked. 
Inhale as we use the arms, reach them nice and high. Exhale, push down through the heel, through the knee. Exhaling as the hand comes down, tuck the toe, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee bends, open the hip. Inhale as you re-straighten. Exhale, leg comes down, down dog. Inhale, slide the body forward, plank. Other leg, whichever one you haven't done. As you exhale, lift, yep. Yeah. Take a look at it, make sure it's doing what you want. Stay in plank, lift and lower it. Straight out to the side, just like we did in tabletop. I know it's super hard, take your time. Yep, last lift. Nice. And then foot comes down, exhaling, down dog. Nice, well, that's pretty good. Inhale as you look forward. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, arms by the ears. Exhaling, chair, gaze to the tips of your fingers. Inhale, look up, standing salute. Exhale. Bring the thumbs, feel the heart. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Open up the chest. Exhale, forward fold, a little change here. As we inhale, pause. As we exhale, right leg is gonna come back, but the right knee, keep it lifted. We're gonna come into, into a crescent lunge. Inhale, all the way up, crescent lunge. Get your focus, get steady. Choose where you want your eyes to be. In a moment, we're gonna fly forward into warrior two, into warrior three. And then we're gonna stay in that position for quite some time. Make sure you've got space in front of you for your arms to come forward. Wait for the exhale. And when you exhale, bring the weight forward, hands into your chest. Steady the hips, steady the gaze. As we exhale, we're gonna bend that left leg. As we inhale, we're gonna straighten the leg and straighten the arms too, straight in front. Exhale, as we bend the leg, take the hands into prayer. Inhale, as we straighten the leg, take the arms by the ears. Exhale, as we bend and take the chest and the thumbs closer. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale as we bend, hands in, nice. Really nice. Keep the weight forward. Don't take the weight back, keep it forward. Nice, nice Davina. Last one. When you're ready, take the hands back into prayer. Set that right foot down by the left. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale as you bend one of those legs, straighten the other, lean. Exhale as you re-center, both legs straight. Exhale as you bend the other leg, lean into the bent side, sorry, the straight side. And then re-establish. From here, step back on an inhale plank. As you exhale, bend the elbows, your choice of back bend. Inhale, cobra, up dog, sphinx, plenty of time. Exhaling, down dog, plenty of time. Other side. Inhale, eyes straight forward, legs follow. Forward fold. Inhale, last sun cell. Arms up, dive forward. Exhale, lean back, sit super low, chair. In as you sweep and look. Exhale, thumbs finding that little thud of the heart. Inhale, open the chest, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling as we pause, plenty of time. Exhaling, left leg a long way back. You got it. Inhale as we sweep up. 
Taking a little bit of a break here, just establishing our gaze, our length and our space. When you find that next exhale, take the hands down, weight comes forward, warrior three. Establish the head and the gaze. Keep the weight tilted forward. As you exhale, bend that standing leg, hands into prayer. Inhale as you straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Exhale as you bend. Inhale as you straighten. Exhaling, bend. Plenty of time. Inhale to straighten, last two. Exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten, last one. Exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, hands land down, foot lands down, standing forward fold. Bend one leg, straighten the other, lean towards that straight leg. Swap over, lean towards the straight leg, find a little bit of release through the thigh. Step back, curl pose. Exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows if you wish. Inhale, cobra, up dog, keep it integrated, head in line. Exhale, back to down dog, coming into our little dolphin pose. Inhaling, drop onto the knees, tabletop. Exhaling, sliding the weight forward. Your choice of hands, I'm going to interlace this morning, coming into dolphin. Wait for the next exhale. When you do so, exhale, lift the knees, dolphin. Lovely, stay here as you inhale. Exhale, rock the weight forward, bring the shoulders forward of the elbows. Inhale as you rock back. Exhale as you rock forward. Inhaling as you push back. Exhale as you rock forward. Keep the hips high if you need. Move the feet in. That's it. Take two more. Really lovely. When you've done that last one, you've inhaled. Shoulders are back. Exhale as you drop onto your knees. Really nice. Inhale as you take a rest, fill the lungs. And exhaling all the way back. Down dog. We are gonna add on there, but not today. Inhale through to your chaturanga, knees up, knees down, wherever you wanna be. Exhaling, inhaling any back bend. Exhale. Down dog. Lovely. Inhale, right leg all the way up, three legged. Exhale, right leg forward. Perfect. Inhale as we come up. Exhaling, hands in prayer. Taking a very brief pause here. We're going to flow through a few rounds without the block, and then I'll give you the option to add the block. It's going to make it a little bit stickier. We're gonna to have to focus a little bit more and you might take more time than we would normally, that's fine. But essentially it's the same position. So we're in crescent lunge. From here as we inhale, we pause on our crescent lunge. Exhale, take the hands back, still in crescent lunge. Inhale in crescent lunge. As we exhale, we're gonna bring the hands up Bring the knee up, standing bad, so I'm aware that you can't see my head. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, take the hands back, crescent lunge. Lovely. Inhale as the hands come back up. Pausing here. Exhale, warrior three, just like we did a moment ago. Inhaling, warrior three. Exhale. Crescent lunge, we're back to the beginning. Inhaling. Exhale, just the arms move behind. Inhaling. 
Exhale, standing balance. Inhaling. Exhaling, crescent lunge. Inhaling. Exhale, warrior three, arms by the ears. Inhaling. Exhale, crescent lunge, you got it. Inhaling. Exhale, just the hands move behind. Inhaling. Exhale, standing bent knee balance. Inhaling. Exhale, crescent lunge. Arms come up as you inhale. Last one before we add locks. Exhaling. Warrior three. Inhaling. Exhale, crescent lunge. Take a break. Arms come down. Have a little bit of a move around. See how you feel. So start to drop the awareness down into the feet. If that feels like it's a really lovely place to stay, stay there. We're gonna take another three rounds. If you want, same again. I'm just gonna move my thing a little bit so you can see my head. Hopefully that's a bit better. Okay. But we're gonna put the blocks, so same feet, right leg is forward, left leg is back. But we're gonna put the block, so now, it's as if these are stepping stones and our mat has become some golden, thick, warm, viscous fire that we don't want to step into. So take time because this is one of those things that you might start off somewhere on the blocks and feel like they're actually not in the right place. And I've also forgotten that you need space in front of you in order for Warrior 3 to come into fruition. Ah. You might better be better off starting shorter. Is everyone there? Yeah. Perfect. So we're in crescent lunge on our blocks, which feels really horrible. Lovely. So we're just going to spend, I'm just going to have a little play. So forget the breath for a minute, even though I'll kind of tell you through, just to have a little explore. When you're ready, arms are up. As we exhale, nothing changes, just the hands come down behind us. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, standing knee balance. Whoa, I feel like a giant. Inhaling. Exhale, take your time. We need to seek out that block. Very gently, find it nice. Back into crescent lunge. Inhale as the hands come up. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, refine the block. Try not to look, just try and let the the toes find it. Inhaling as we pause. Exhale, just the hands move behind us. Inhaling as we pause. Exhale, standing knee balance. Inhale as we pause. Go slow. Let the foot find the block. Crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up as we pause. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, refine the block. Whoa! Inhale, last one. I've been I've moved my block. Exhaling, move the hands behind. Inhale as you pause. Exhale, fly up. Standing balance. Inhale as you pause. Exhale, seek the block. Inhale, arms come up, last warrior three. Exhaling, warrior three. Inhaling. Exhale, find the block, crescent lunge. Inhaling. Exhale, hands to the floor. One foot moves off the block, other foot moves off the block. If you want, you can forward fold. If it feels nicer to take a twist, just unwind. So when we've got less stability on the floor, we need to create more stability through the body. So you might feel work that you don't normally feel work with. Feel free to give it a tap, give it a little rub. That's often a little bit better than actually stretching it out. And then coming to the other side when we're ready. 
So we start, left leg is forward, right leg is back, and we're not on the blocks. Suddenly it becomes super easy. Oh, we take our time. We find crescent lunge on an exhale. And as we inhale, we pause. We move the arms back, nothing else as we exhale. And as we inhale, we pause. As we exhale, hands forward, knee up, standing balance. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, hands down, crescent lunge. Inhale, hands up, plenty of time, take it slow. Exhale, weight comes forward, warrior three. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, back to crescent lunge. Inhaling. Exhale, just the arms come back. Inhaling. Exhale, standing balance, eyes are steady. Inhaling. Exhale, hands come back, crescent lunge. Inhale, hands forward. Exhaling, warrior three, hands by the ears. Inhaling. Exhaling, last one, crescent lunge. Inhaling. Exhaling, hands by your back. Inhaling. Exhaling, standing, bent knee backs. Inhaling. Exhale, crescent lunge. Really nice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take the weight forward, press through the back, lift through the front. I'm in the wall, warrior three. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, crescent. Inhale, draw the hands in. Step the feet closer together. Have a little roll or a rub or a whack. And then again, just notice how you feel left and right side. Now it might be that you wanna do those three movements again and just practice getting that rhythm. I certainly fell into the wardrobe a couple of times there. But maybe it feels right just to explore a new way of moving and to really fire up that awareness of where we are in space and that moving balance as opposed to stationary balance. If you want to set up your blocks, it is easier if you can lean on something as you get your blocks in line. Otherwise go shorter with the blocks. So you start off, yeah. Yep, take your time, plenty of time. Nice. And then when you're ready, crescent lunge. Oh, inhaling in crescent lunge. Exhale, just the hands move back, head stays steady, gaze stays steady. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, standing balance. Inhaling, standing balance. Exhale, keep it slow. Let the foot seek the block. Completely missed. Inhaling, arms come up. Exhaling, warrior three. Keep the hands by the ears. I'm gonna go into the wall, so I'm gonna keep mine down. Inhaling. Exhale, find the block, crescent lunge. Inhaling. Exhale, re-steady, hands come back. Inhaling. Exhale, fly forward, bend knee pads. Really nice. Inhaling as we pause. Exhaling, plenty of time, take your time. Seek out that block. See if you can find it with a leg. Crescent lunge. Inhale as the hands come up. Exhale, warrior three. Inhaling, warrior three. Exhaling, crescent lunge. Nice, nice last one. Inhaling, crescent lunge, lovely. Exhale, hand shift behind, gaze stays steady. Head still, inhaling. Exhale, bent knee balance. Really nice, lovely. 
Lovely, inhale, feel that body. Exhale, crescent lunge, last little bit. Yep, take your time, take your time. Inhale, when you're ready, arms come up. Exhale, warrior three. Yes, yes, lovely. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, find the block last time. Last time, find the block. Yep, as you inhale, step off of the block, take the feet together. <laughs> take the feet really close together and just have a little bend in the straight in here. So just like we did a moment ago, but the feet really close together. As you do so, drop the head. And if it feels nice, you can round the chin in so you get a little bit of stretch through the lower back, which has really been stabilizing us. And in your own time, you can certainly come through in that Hindi squat if your legs aren't completely dead. Feel free to come in through Malasana, taking your time to find your way onto your mat. If, like me, your legs have just told you, just whacked you in the face and said no, come to your block any way you want. Nice, Louise, lovely. Keep it a little bit narrow with the feet, though. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> it looked nice, though. It looked nice. And then when you're ready, right knee comes up. Give the knee a little bit of a rub. My word, that has done a lot of amazing things for you today. It's kept you stable. Feel free to move the hands around the calf. Calf should feel really kind of thick and really heavy and you can get into those little knots you might find. One of those areas that is often quite quiet, but is such a strong integral muscle of our bodies. Feel free once again to rub the side of the hip. Just notice how amazing your thigh and your leg is. If you can tear yourself away from how incredible your body is, you can pop that right leg over the left. Yep. Either staying there or bending the straight leg towards the opposite hip and then hugging in. Yeah. So if you can, just lift up through the back, but ease the head a little bit. So maybe it's just a closing of the eyes or maybe it's a little bit of a nod or a little bit of a shake. And when you feel like it's the right time for you to come to the other side, go ahead. I'm gonna stay here for a little bit longer. If you're not already there, left knee bends. And again, little knee massage. You can feel all those little bits underneath the patella, those little spaces that you can find. Little bit of jelly there, you can have a little massage. Maybe the shin bone on this side, peeling it away from the tibia. Maybe the calf. And again, often the calf is really rich with loads of um, information when you start just to give it a little massage because it is such a hard working Muscle, muscles. And then side of that hip, side of that thigh, give it a little stroke. Notice how incredibly soft and unctuous and warm it is. And then that leg, left leg over the right. Your choice if you want to fold the body up and then hug in if you're not already there. Keep the spine nice and long, but just drop a little bit in the head. So ease the eyes. Thank you. 
And as usual, stay as long as you need or you want or you wish. When you feel like you want to just spend the last little bit of time on your back, make your way there, keeping the body nice and quiet, steadily, gently. Oh, moving on to your back. Feel free to have a little hug in, a little rock. And that rock might just gently turn into a very brief, but very well needed Shavasana. So allow your body some time just to get that little bit more comfortable. So really surrender it down into the earth. Let it be entirely supported. Your body's just supported you for the last 45 minutes in really unusual, crazy position. So just let it have its own way. And then guide your awareness to the breath, to that soft, Full breath, filling you up. Expanding the ribs. Expanding the chest. Expanding the belly. And really easily, really gently, we're going to count six breaths. Inhaling and exhaling makes one breath. But count backwards from six. And when you reach the end of that sixth breath, really softly, really slowly, just roll the body down and around onto the right hand side. Curled and warm and snuggled. And as usual, just notice how you feel. Body on the earth. Mind connected to the breath. Notice how you feel. And then let the inhale start to feed you and fuel you. Let that inhale bring you all the way up into a seated, comfortable position. Really nice. Inhale as we take the arms up, look up. Exhale as we allow them to come back to the ground. Inhale as we grow, we expand, we take up. Exhale as we expand, release and give back. Inhale, palms all the way together, feel that little spark. <laughs> 